Hello! In the following I will talk about ellipsis, which means grammatical omission in contrast to other kinds of omission, such as phonological loss or clipping. In general, ellipsis explains why some normally obligatory element of a grammatical sentence is missing. Here is an example. In if he works hard, I won't have to, the infinitive marker to occurs without the normally obligatory predication work hard. This has been omitted or ellipted. There are various parameters which help us to categorize ellipses. One such parameter is referred to as verbatim recoverability or short recoverability. That is, how the actual word or words whose meaning is understood or implied can be recovered. Another parameter is more formal. It looks at the position of the elliptic elements and their direction of reference. Here we have a backward direction. Last but not least we can define a functional parameter that looks at the relationship between antecedent and the elliptic part. The two main types, the recoverability type and the formal type, can be associated with several subcategories with further categories that may even be beyond the linguistic context or with categories that simply refer to the position of the elliptic elements within the sentence. Let us look at these types in more detail. Formally speaking, we can define three main categories. Clause initial ellipsis, as in, he will come later, if at all, where we can ignore the conjunction if because of its peripheral character. Or in I have eaten more than you, we have a case of clause final ellipsis. There is also a case of medial ellipsis, but if we take a closer look, it is often a case of either initial or final ellipsis. In I know we haven't set the record straight, but we will someday. We can argue that the adverbial someday is optional and the type of ellipsis is thus final. The recoverability types of ellipsis can be distinguished into three subtypes. Textual ellipsis, situational ellipsis and structural ellipsis. In sentences with textual ellipsis, the interpretation depends on what is said or written in the linguistic context. Relative to the positions of the ellipsis and its antecedent, two types can be distinguished. Anaphoric ellipsis, as in, I'm happy if you are, where the interpretation depends on what comes before, and Cataphoric ellipsis, where the interpretation depends on what follows, as in, those who prefer can stay at home. In situational ellipsis, the interpretation depends on knowledge about some extra linguistic context. For example, get it, a short form for did you get it, may be substitutional for sentences like did you get the letter, or it can be interpreted as did you understand? In this example, situational ellipsis is final. However, usually it tends to be initial, especially taking the form of omitting the subject, the operator or both. It occurs in declarative as well as in interrogative sentences. Here are some examples. Serves you right. Told you so. In trouble? Joan finished? Situational ellipsis often applies to cases where it happens to be quite clear what has been omitted and where the omitted words have weak stress and low pitch. In sentences with structural ellipsis, the third type, the interpretation depends on the knowledge of grammatical structure. Here are some examples where a conjunction or prepositions have been ellipted 
and can be recovered without reference to any external context. Structural ellipsis often involves the omission of determiners, pronouns, operators and other close-classed words in block language, for example in book titles, notices or headlines, as in this headline, US heading for new slump, which stands for the US is heading for a new slump. Note that often there are no clear-cut boundaries between structural ellipses and instances of situational ellipses. Beyond the simple subdivision into formal and recoverability types, there are further issues that can be discussed in the context of ellipses. For example, we could distinguish formal categories such as noun phrases, elliptical clauses and other constructions. We could discuss the relevance of the functional relation between the elliptical and antecedent construction or we could define even degrees of ellipsis, for example, on the basis of the precision with which we can recover the missing elements. However, I will stop here and postpone these details about ellipsis to further practical videos where you can apply and test your knowledge. Until then, have a nice time.